Well, hello there, folks, and pardon any roar you may hear in the background. The air conditioner is running right in front of me. It, uh, we went through, this past weekend, went through record heat here in South Carolina. We were pushing 100 degrees over the weekend with high humidity, and this is like the third week in May, so summer has already arrived here in the Midlands of South Carolina. But my name is Wade Rush. You've landed on the BRO Reloading Bench. Let's get after it. Alrighty folks, this is part two and talking about the number four buckshot different configurations that there are available to you. And if you've missed part one, I'm going to put a card right here so that you can go over there and watch that before you watch this one if you would like to. If not, welcome and let's go ahead and get after it. We're going to be talking about the three inch and the three and a half inch today. So here we go. We started out, this is just the conventional type of load. This is, is as basic and easy as it gets. This is a new primed Shadite hole we got from Ballistic Products here. 41 pellet factory type configuration. We, uh, we've got 29 grains of blue dot under an X12X seal and an FC12 half inch fiber wide and then stacking by sevens we stack five rows of seven and then one row of six that way we don't have one pellet up dimpling up our crimp here we've got the number four BAM that really really hard alloy that Ballistic Products has available right now it is a full 24 plus size in the BAM number four buck and 41 pellets weighs 1.9 ounces or just over two ounces. I think this one actually weighed 2.05 ounces for 41 pellets here in this conventional type load using the BAM buckshot. This is three inch now. Second round is even easier to put together because there's only one component to install aside from your buckshot. We've got 25 grains of long shot and under this we have basically the Ballistic Products Green Brush Wide, the BRP-12. And this one, the Hornady number 4 buck, is like right on 24 caliber. And so you can tell it actually only weighs 1.9 ounces. 41 pellets here in this round as well. But only having to install one component aside from your powder and pellets, that just really simplifies stuff. You guys that like simple and you know I like it. That was another great performer that we put together here. Yes, you can install a buffer on either one of these rounds here but I left the buffer out so that makes it a lot easier for y'all to see what's happening here. Okay, staying simple, folks. We've got a new primed Shadite hull here, 29 of blue dot, and to accommodate our shot column along with the type of powder we're using since blue dot's gonna take up more space than a long shot, the FS-12 Flex Seal is all we need to install in here to get our shot column right. Now this is a full blown hunting round right here. We've got 29 of blue dot, the FS-12 flex seal, and the number three Remington buck, remember me telling you about that in episode one, that the, the number three buck is basically a 24 caliber. So it is number four buck size. As a matter of fact, 41 pellets of, of the Remington number three buck weigh two ounces. Same thing. It's actually a little bit lighter, a hair lighter than the BAM buckshot. So that shows you that the size of the shot is not number three, it is more a number four buck. So I went ahead and put one together 
here so you guys that have that number three Remington buck see how you can load it just like it's a number four buck actually so we've got 41 pellets in here stacked conventionally and but we installed a mylar wrap that helps and we covered it in ballistic products original buffer it goes together the exact same as all the other ones but see what I mean that number three buck is basically a number four buck so you can load it just like it is number four buck same size same weight and we've got just a little bit of redundancy here once again only we using a different pellet we uh, we got 29 of blue dot because we're working with two ounces of lead payload weight here 29 of blue dot the FS 12 flex seal over our powder here and we've got 41 pellets of my powder coated hard cast right here and it is a full 24 caliber size out of Marty's mold Marty's arms and 41 pellets of my hard cast weighs exactly two ounces we've got it covered in BP original and a beautiful roll crimp that is another great performer right there now we're kind of getting away from the way the factory does things because factory can't do this um, they, they would have to do this by hand so they don't what we have here we're getting into our extended ranges we got full length wide in here so the pellets stack differently in a full length wide and in this full length wide new primed shittite hole we've got 27 of long shot why 27 because we've got 1.7 ounces of total lead payload weight here in this round we've got the number four bam buckshot 34 stacks by fours in here I put one of these together at the bench kind of going to give you a, uh, a little bit of a show of how I put this one together at the bench this has 27 a long shot the Gualandi super mini the little green wide 34 pellets of number four bam which is 1.7 ounces all covered in BP original awesome awesome hunting round right there and now the sister wide to the Gualandi Super Mini. This is another Gualandi, a great wide made by Gualandi. This is the MG42 at Ballistic Products. We've got 32 grains of blue dot under that MG42 wide. Don't have to do anything special other than just stack your number four buck in here by fours till you get to the last row. We have a total of 31 pellets in this round covered and BP original buffer standard crimp yeah now these these last two kind of like what uh, the boys over at the club call their cutover and power line rounds here these will definitely reach out there because we've got full length wads in here this is the TPS white lightning that we've got installed here in this new 3 inch primed Shaddite hole We've got 27 a long shot under that white lightning wide. We have an eighth inch 20 gauge nitro card pressed into the bottom of the wide to make the wide flat because the bottom on these things are concave, they're dipped. So you need something to make the bottom of the wide flat and to add some cushion, especially when you're shooting the long shot powder. You need cushion, cushion is important. And these TPS wides do not have any unless you're shooting the TPS cushioned wad which no one can find now we got tons of these things figured out how to uh, how to make them work for us and now you can't find them that is sad hopefully they will come back in stock one day but until they do the TPS white lightning is usually in stock if they run out they get it back pretty quick this is a great buckshot wad 27 long shot the white lightning 28 inch 20 gauge nitro card and 31 pellets 
of a number four buck. This happens to have the Hornady in it. They stack by fours, except the last row. All right, and the last one here in the extended range three inch is a new primed, new primed Shadite hull. You see, we've got the uh, the precision TUPRW123, which is the three inch wide. The RW12 or the TUPRW12 is the white wide, and it is cut for two and three quarter inch, which means they will work in two and three quarter inch and anything longer. They will work just fine. These, the red wads, three inch or three and a half inch, they'll work just fine. But here we've got 32 of blue dot. The TUPRW123 red wad with the 20 gauge eighth inch undershot card. And 30 pellets of number four buck. This is my hard cast powder coated. And it's all covered in BP original buffer. This is a field tested bring the meat home round right here fellas alrighty only thing we can do now is I got a couple of three and a halves put together let's move on to that we'll talk about them for a few minutes okay boys to, uh, I put together two three and a halves and the only holes that I had in here that I did not have to go digging into storage to find uh, we're still working on the studio and a lot of stuff I had to get packed up ready to go out to the studio whenever we got to that point when building supplies went flipping through the roof once again we had to stop and a good chunk of my loading stuff is all packed up waiting to go out already out there in storage in the uh, in the studio so anyway I had to use whatever I could get my hands on or whatever I could find and that was some once fired holes that I got from Mr. Bill Kawas and they load up beautiful. They are my favorite hulls to reload are the Remington Express. All right, so these are the two that I put together here. The first one is that once fired three and a half inch from Mr. Bill. We've got a Shadite primer reinstalled, 34 grains of blue dot, and we have the BRP12 brush wad here that we installed in here. One component, 48 pellets, of number four Hornady that comes out we're going by lead payload weight two and a quarter ounces that's where I did uh, pull my data up here and this is going not going to be a real hot load here and uh, but we are shooting two and a quarter ounces of lead payload weight 48 pellets of number four Hornady that is a claymore right there buddy and it loaded up absolutely beautiful now, if you're looking for an extended range load, of course, we got the same Remington Express here, once fired, three and a half inch, except we've got uh, a Shadite primer installed, because that seems to be what everybody can find, if you can find primers, 29 of long shot, and we have a CSD cut to a three inch configuration. And fellas, I'm dropping a 20 gauge, quarter inch, 20 gauge, nitro card or paper wide or felt wide or cork wide it doesn't matter just quarter inch in the bottom of gonna drop it right in the bottom of this wide right there number four hornady pellets 50 pellets will fit in here that's right 50 pellets will stack in this three and a half inch right here 30 hornady number four stacked by five takes it right to the top of the wide now the neck, we're going to drop one in the middle and six around the perimeter to finish out our shot column. Show you what that looks like. One in the middle. Now we're going to stack six around the perimeter now that we're above the wide. All right. See, now we're getting just like the conventional. We got 36 pellets in there now and we got one or two more rows to go. 50 pellets is gonna complete our shot column here. 50 pellets. That's right, we got 29 grains of long shot. 50 pellets weighs 2.35 ounces of total lead payload weight. That's right, 2.35 ounces of total lead payload weight. 
Well, Wade, how you figure what you just talked about with your three and a half inch number four buck load? Well, I'm here in my Lyman shotgun manual. Remington plastic base wide fold crimp. That's what we got. That's our hull right there. Two and a quarter ounce loads, 2.25. We're actually loading 2.3, 2.35. Just a hair more. We look at our data here. Long shot. Using the Remington 209P or the Federal 209A. Federal 209A might as well be a Magnum primer, as we all know. We are using a different wide. But see, this is where I get my starting point. So that's why we're using 29 grains of long shot here, boys. Because book is calling for 31, 30 and a half, depending on primer and stuff like that. So, you know, that's where I get my starting points and stuff like that to where we work it up well within parameters. Started to fold with my uh, size master over there because I don't have anything set up for three and a half inch. And finished it with the Guide BN3 finisher. Look at that beauty. That's all you need. You talk about a hammer. That thing feels like it. you could use it for boat anchor. That is 2.35 ounces of total lead payload weight. I hope the camera's focusing for you guys so y'all can see how pretty that round turned out. Rolled it with the guy BN3. Finished it with the guy BN3. That is a great performer right there, fellas. And Rachel and I are going to try to get down to the range as soon as we can to shoot some of these rounds for you guys. But just like this afternoon, it has been steady thunderstorms and severe weather going on, and we got more coming. So I tried to get in here and get this done as quick as I could between the, the lines of storms that are coming through here. So, hope y'all enjoyed this, fellas. And if you stay with me this long, I really appreciate it. For uh, a lot of you guys that are looking for new ways to contribute to the channel, whenever you can, YouTube has introduced actually something that's a pretty good thing, for, uh, for especially for creators like me, that, uh, that most, of, uh, most of my stuff gets demonetized and stuff like that. And uh, you know, y'all all know the story. But there is a super thanks button now that, uh, that kind of bypasses all that stuff. That if you really like the content and what you see on the video, you can just click on this super thanks and just send a few bucks over. And everything that you do helps this channel get more loading supplies and help me to be able to do more content. Because everything is either unavailable or super danged expensive that I don't know how in the world anybody can afford the stuff. We absolutely could not do this if it were not for our patrons. We really appreciate our patrons. These guys help keep this motor running here, fellas. And I'm telling you, if it was not for our patrons, I would not be able to keep bringing you guys this kind of content and stuff like that. That's just, that's just the world that we're living in right now. Until things change, these guys are the fuel that just keeps this motor running. And we really appreciate y'all. We're going to be having, uh, we're, we finally got, it's been taking everything a while. I wanted to do, uh, we're going to be doing a big drawing for the patron channel. And we're also going to be giving away some stuff here on the YouTube channel. So you guys stay tuned for all of that. Ballistic Products is on board. Uh, Marty's Arms is on board. Um, Kicks Chokes is on board. A lot of good stuff. You guys stay tuned for all that. Bye-bye.